Number 28. What is the magnitude and direction of the force exerted on a 3.5 microcoulomb charge by a 250 newton coulomb electron field that points due east? All right. Uh, check out number 27. I did a, made a little longer video about the concept of electric field there. So, uh, so just check that out. I'm going to run through it here. So it says that the electric field here is pointing due east. So why don't we draw those vectors? Okay. Electric field is pointing due east. Now what we remember from the prior video is that these electric field lines always point towards something that is negative. And they always point away from something that is positive. So I like to always make my electric fields with this little capacitor type of system. All right, helps me conceptually understand the problem. So now, it says now, we want to know the magnitude and the direction of the force exerted on a 3.5 micro coulomb charge. Is this charge positive or negative? It's positive, right? So what that means is that if I place the charge here in this electric field, let's put it right here. Remember that this thing is positive, okay? My question to you is, what direction will I place the force? Remember, the left side to the left side of the charge is positive. To the right side of the charge, it's negative. So in reference to the right side, this negative side will be attracting the positive charge. So that force will be pointing to the right. And then how about the positive in relation to this positive? Well, that's a repulsive force. So that's also pointing to the right. Oh my goodness, they reinforce one another. And they should. So guess what? What's the direction of the force? The force here is directed due east. So I already took care of the direction. Okay, force is due east. Done. Now, how do we calculate the magnitude? Well, that's now the math part. Okay, so we need to know a formula that relates force, charge, and electric field strength. And that's going to be the formula, basically number two over here. That's going to be the electric field strength will equal the force exerted on a particular charge in an electric field divided by the charge value of that charge that's placed in the electric field. So whenever you state an equation like this, I highly suggest, and I've said this you know, a bunch of times before, please state out the variables as detailed as possible. It will help you problem solve, all right? So uh, the electric field strength, they told us is 250 uh, newtons per coulomb. Those are the proper units for electric field, so that's good. Let's just plug that in. We wanna find the force, okay? So we calculate F. And we're going to divide that now by Q. So Q, what did they tell us was positive 3.5 microcoulomb. You got to convert that into coulomb. So just, you know, multiply by 10 to the minus sixth. And now we're going to find the force. So this is about 250, 250 multiplied by 3.5 times 10 to the minus sixth. And here we go, 8.75, 8.75 times 10 to the minus fourth. Okay. And that's then going to be in terms of Newtons. So that's the force. Notice also the force came out positive, meaning it should be pointing to the right, basically, and that's how it came out also in the picture. Now, sometimes these don't work out exactly how you might anticipate. Uh, the reason being also is because, you know, the uh, electric field here that I have in blue does not have to be pointing due east or due north or due south. It could be pointing in angles, all right? And therefore, it, it, you know, the signs then become really confusing. So that's why I like to look at it pictorially for the direction and then just plug in the numbers and do the calculations uh, and then make sure that the uh, answer does make sense. And in this case, it sounds like it does. So guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please help us out and subscribe. We appreciate it and we look forward to helping you with more problems. Have a great day.